Thank you for tuning in to more semi-final action from the National Crokinole Association tournament that took place in Chatham, Ontario in February of 2024. Should be a great matchup here as we have Andrew Hutch Daddy Hutchinson facing off against Nolan Tracy. It's been a little while since Nolan's made his way to a Final Four, but today he must have been uh, on point as he uh, narrowly, narrowly pushed his very own father out of the top four by scoring more 20s than him in the afternoon round robin. Regardless, here we go. Nolan Tracy, the first to act, sinking that open 20, putting a little pressure on Hutch. Hutch, first to go a little bit long. Nice takeout by Nolan Tracy. Pretty good positioning here. See what Hutch probably trying to pull that back off the peg. Did a little bit. Leaves Nolan with a bit of a challenging shot, but uh, up to the task. This time Hutchinson needing to go across that center hole to try to make something happen off a peg. Does not look happy with that particular outcome as it gives Nolan the opportunity to get the off as well as pull back. Hutch definitely looking for the clear. Nolan Tracy looking for that sweet spot that's back in the five on your own side of the board, which makes it uh, makes it tough to hit. And he's leaving Hutchinson with some tough shots here. Hutchinson absolutely wants the peel to force play back to the middle. Nolan Tracy content to do everything he can to keep play on the outside. Here we are back in the middle. Hutch got what he wanted, drew a mistake out of Tracy. Unable to convert. One shot left each. Hutchinson, all he can do is go for the tie here with a takeout 20. Beautiful takeout, just a little off on the line. First two points of this race to nine go to Nolan Tracy. The highlights here, a little bit uh, anticlimactic as we see Nolan Tracy with some defensive play. Hutchinson first to act in round two of this match. Goes a little bit long. As we like to say, he's on the right side of the hole. We'll see what Nolan tries to do with that. Gets the takeout and a decent roll away. Maybe a chance here for Hutchinson to convert this into a 20. Oh, that is a weird one. The black disc was, I think, the only thing that prevented that red from dropping in. Nolan Tracy makes him pay for that by being able to remove it, get the 20, and also move himself back a little bit away from that 20 hole. Just far enough, apparently, as Hutchinson unable to convert that into a 20. See what Nolan Tracy attempts to do with this. Ooh, I believe he was trying to roll away. Little misfortune there, loses everything off the board. Let's start over. Hutchinson comes up short, leaving Tracy with a nice backboard. See if he's able to make him pay for that mistake. And he does. Up, Nolan Tracy up two 20s in this matchup, or in this round, I should say, sorry. <laughs> Hutchinson's so excited about making a 20 that he actually dropped his 20 into Nolan Tracy's cup and the players have a bit of a chuckle out of it Hutchinson unable to convert that we'll see what Nolan tries to do here looks like he's going to go for he was going for the off and a roll away didn't get what he wanted but Hutchinson left puzzled as to what to do with this He's unsure how he's going to get the black disc off without removing the red. It's going to go through the house. So Hutchinson down a 20, but w had the potential to have three on the board. Now at this point, Nolan Tracy with the hammer. He's pretty content right here. He's already won this, already won this by being up a 20. Here we go. Very, very unusual situation. We see that a bit of a a leaner uh, with an assist from another disc because yeah not very often you see leaners on uh, quality boards Nolan starts the third round with an open 20 putting a little more pressure on Hutchinson Hutchinson goes long Nolan making faces that one rolled a little closer to the center hole than he would have liked let's see if Hutchinson's able to convert yes he is doesn't get the off but he does get the 20 Nolan answers back, going up two 20s to one. Hutchinson's gonna, gonna be looking to make something happen off a peg. Didn't, but he did keep playing the house, which is good. Nolan content to just do the hit and stick. Interesting spot. Nolan doesn't even try for the takeout. He just wanted a valid shot to keep his on. The unfortunate part is the red disc stayed between those pegs. This is getting into a little bit of a chess match now. 
Nolan looks to roll his shooter back toward himself to make things a little more challenging for Hutchinson. I believe he's going to try to work himself away here to either get a double or get his own disc pulled over behind a peg to draw a mistake out of Hutch. Rolls all the way in. I don't know if he's happy about that or not. Hutchinson with the hammer. He has two shots left to Nolan's one. So Hutchinson's quite happy with this because if he can lie 25 on the board, he will... Oh, never mind. That was... That was rude. <laughs> that was a fantastic shot by Hutchinson catching a peg to even the count in the 20 cup, thus securing himself. He looked... He was in good shape already, but that shot just was the nail in the coffin right there. Here it is, right here, the off, the peg, the 20. Not sure if that's what he was going for, but it still counts as 20 points regardless. Nolan Tracy up 4-2 in this race to nine. Players getting dialed in with their 20s range. Hutchinson goes a little bit long. Commentator's curse, I just finished, oh, wow. Who did I curse with that commentary? Nolan commits the cardinal sin, giving his opponent a 20. He's going to be looking to roll this play back. Oh, 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 money. What a fantastic roll in. I thought he was just going to try to get in the host, but he went all the way in for the 20. Hutchinson goes long again. Nolan Tracy's able to secure this off and get himself rolled away. He's going to be in pretty good position in this round. Left that a little close. It's almost like facial expressions run the family or something. Is uh, Yeah, Nolan's face said a lot as he left that a little too close and Hutchinson made him pay. Nolan's turn to come up a little bit long this time. Now Hutchinson likely looking to roll away. He may be going for a follow through depending on how confident he's feeling. Oh, he just, uh, just did a nice little hit and stick. Looks like he kept that just far enough away. Hutchinson up a 20 against the hammer. He's going to be looking to do everything he can. Yeah, now it's his turn to make faces. Nolan's going to be looking for the takeout 20 here. Oh, so close. Again, we'll see what Hutchinson plays here. If it's offense or defense, I would guess he's looking for defense. Going to get that takeaway, takeout roll away. Beautiful, beautiful spot. Leaving Nolan Tracy with nothing but a big follow through 20. Oh! Wowzer. Here we go, that highlight. Beautiful roll in 20. Just enough to get the red disc off. Both players making some fantastic shots in this match. Knotted up 4-4. Nolan a little heavy on that open 20 attempt. Bounces out, leaving Hutchinson a chance for a drop back. Oh, Hutchinson did not get the off or the 20. Leaving Nolan an opportunity here. He looks like he's going to try to go through his own. Oh, great attempt. Had he secured that, he'd have been in fantastic position with the disc out there in the five. As it is, we're well into a chess match. We'll see what he's going to try to do here. Yeah, I'd say he opted to take that red disc out to not give Hutchinson a very good shot at a double takeout. Having both a red disc and a peg between the two black ones makes it uh, pretty tough for Hutchinson to work with a go after a double. Now Nolan Tracy's going to go in. Going after that follow through 20, he is feeling confident and offensive today. Now Hutchinson sizing things up to see if there's a double takeout there for him. Looks like he's just going to settle for the single. Not the single. Made a valid shot. Now Nolan weighing out his options. He's back to going through his own again here. Does make the valid shot, but this is uh, this board's getting a little sloppy. Hutchinson content to pull back. Now he's got three on his side of the board. Three shots left each. Wowzer! Oh, what a shot. Now this time, I threatened to fire our editor during the last match. If he doesn't put that in the highlight, he is canned before the day is over. No two weeks notice for you. What a shot. Triple takeout. Such a great shot. Hutchinson is forced to take a drink of his water to regain composure, try to settle his nerves. And Hutchinson still in pretty good shape in this match because he has hammer. Ooh. Nolan Tracy loses his shooter 
interesting situation here now. Hutchinson likely going to be content with a hit and stick. And he is. One shot left each. Nolan needs a double takeout and he needs to hide himself somewhere. Not there. Not there. He needed to be behind a peg or back somewhere deep on his side of the board to leave Hutchinson some sort of challenge with his final shot. Hutchinson, met, here we go, here we go. Garrett keeps his job. <laughs> oh, what a takeout. Fantastic triple takeout 20. <laughs> Hutchinson first to act in this next round. Him sitting with a six to four advantage in this race to nine. First to go long here. Oh, oh. Yeah, not what Nolan wanted. Basically erasing the mistake that Hutchinson made with missing that open 20 to start the round. Pressure back on Nolan's shoulders at this point. Settling in, drains that 20, evening things up in the 20 cup. I don't know about you viewers out there, but I was enjoying this more when these guys weren't sinking their open 20s and we were getting some uh, some chess match going on on the Crokinole board. Here we are back to Crokinole after Nolan is the first to miss. He's going to be going for a follow through 20 here now. Oh, and there it. Swear, well, I guess I watched it in person. I think I remember admiring that shot from about 20 feet away. Fantastic follow through 20. Puts the pressure back on Hutch, which he is immune to apparently as he drains his next open 20. If he is able to convert this, he's going to be very much in command of this round as well. Unable to convert. Now, opportunity for Nolan to push his way back into this round. He needs the takeout and the 20 at this point. Oh. He says, I don't want it. Do you want it? The players go back and forth. Just barely out of the reach able to capitalize on the opportunity being left Hutch makes that one yeah that was the nail in the coffin of that round Hutchinson goes up eight to four in this race to nine points let us know in the comments what do you think of this match I mean I I mean I'm super biased here but I think this has been a fantastic matchup great shots great strategies uh, very biased here is Andrew Hutch Daddy Hutchinson is a very close personal friend of mine, and Nolan is absolutely one of my three favorite sons. So, uh, yeah, very, very biased in the commentary chair here today. Nolan the first to miss. Let's get back to some fun action here. Nice touch 20. Wasn't even going for the off, which he's going to need at some point. It's uh, He needs a miss out of Hutchinson at this point. Oh, and he gets it. He's going to definitely be looking for... Ooh, he was definitely looking for the take 20. He was not settling for a touch 20 on that one. Let's see if that greed pays, uh, bites him here. And it does. Hutchinson able to convert that. This time it was Hutchinson who didn't even look for the off. He just wanted that touch 20 to draw things even. In a race to nine, Hutchinson with hammer. He's definitely got the advantage here. All he needs is a tie to win this race to nine matchup. Secures the double takeout, putting a lot of pressure on Nolan. He's got his he's got his uh, disc fairly well posted there as well. My guess is Nolan's going to be going for a, a down in New York. They call it a Hampton. I would call it a a bounce back. Some would call it a Peggy Sue. Whatever you call it, Nolan missed on his offering there. Hutchinson very much in control. He's got the hammer. He's got two discs on. Oh, another beautiful follow through twenty. Goes up two to one in the 20 cup. Pressure on Hutchinson now. And he secures another 20. Going back in control. No reading lips there on Mr. Nolan. I think he might have muttered something about how he feels about the position he's in right now. Two shots left each. Two 20s in each cup. Nolan weighing out his options. I believe he's very much gonna be looking for an off and a 20, which is going to require help from a peg. Nope, content for the takeout, hoping for something better. Hutchinson, fantastic at board control. He's going to be doing everything he can to not give Nolan an opportunity to work with this, his final shot of the round. Here it is. Like I say, Nolan needs the off and the 20. Nolan weighing out his options here. Can he 
do it. Oh! Loses everything. All Hutchinson needs is a valid shot. He doesn't even need that. Inconsequential. It's already tied. Fantastic match between two of my favorite human beings. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Stay tuned. We'll be coming out soon with the third place match as well as the finals from the February Frosty Flick NCA tournament. Make it a great day.